Most Mac users look at one number and panic. They open Activity Monitor, see memory usage 80 or 90%, and assume something is wrong. But here's the part that most people don't realize. On a Mac, high RAM usage is normal. It's often a sign of efficiency, not any sort of trouble. The real signal is not how much memory is used, it's something else entirely. And if you misunderstand it, you will waste time closing apps, restarting your Mac, or installing some free RAM cleanup tools that don't help at all. How Mac OS uses RAM differently than most people think and how to tell difference between healthy usage and real performance stress. Let me start by clearing up the biggest misconception. Mac OS is designed to use as much RAM as possible. Like I always say, unused memory is like wasted memory. So when you see apps filling RAM, cached files sitting in memory, background processes holding a space, that's not Mac OS being sloppy. On the contrary, that's Mac OS being efficient. You know what most people ask at this point? Why is my RAM full? But let me tell you, the better question is, is my Mac struggling to manage that memory? And that's where memory pressure comes in. Memory pressure is not some kind of percentage. It's just a stress indicator. Let me clarify this to you. RAM usage tells you how much space is occupied. And memory pressure tells you how hard system is working to stay responsive. Mac OS constantly compresses memory, reassigns inactive data, and pushes lower priority data out of the way. If you test that on your own, let me show that to you real quick. Open two desktop windows on your Mac. Open multiple apps on the other desktop. And now just notice over here, there's a sudden change in the memory usage and the memory pressure too that is building up right now it's going a little high because we have opened multiple applications i will open a few more apps so now i have got approximately 10 plus apps open on my mac right now and some of them are heavy too and here is a little change you can see in memory pressure this is where you exactly see how memory pressure is working on your mac and if you notice Right next to it, you will also see how the memory is being smartly distributed by Mac OS depending on the requirements. There's a yellow spike in the memory pressure and then green is started once again. As long as it can do it comfortably, your Mac stays fast. That's why you can see even 85% or 90% memory used despite Mac stays absolutely smooth because that memory pressure is still low. I don't want to sound boring. These 20 to 30 seconds may sound repetitive as we covered pretty much the same section in our previous video. However, I cannot sideline this. It's really important to cover in this video as well. Let me tell you how you can read memory pressure correctly. Open activity monitor. Again, click on memory tab at the top. At the bottom on left side, you will see this tiny tab that's called memory pressure. Now this part really matters. If you see green here, that tells us macOS is managing memory easily. Apps are getting what they need, no action required. On the right side, if you notice, even if the RAM uses looks high, the green pressure means the system is healthy. For the reference, if you take a look at this window, on right, the total memory is 8 gigabytes, and out of that, more than 80% is being already used, and on left, we see the green bar. As long as we see consistent green bar, despite high RAM usage, we are okay. If the memory pressure turns yellow, it tells us that system is working harder. macOS is compressing more data and swapping is also increasing. But again, it is not some emergency. It is simply macOS is trying to adapt to the high load. Usually this is where people overreact. Yellow is the signal to observe not to panic. It is rare that you will see a red bar going across under memory pressure. However, when you see it, you must know 
Now macOS is struggling to keep apps responsive. During this, disk swapping for macOS becomes a really heavy job. This is the only time when memory becomes a real performance problem. Not high usage, not even high percentage, just memory pressure. This is where a lot of online advices go wrong. Apps that claim to free RAM, clean memory, instantly boost performance. Don't fix memory pressure. Let me tell you why. They force apps to release cached memory that macOS was using intentionally. Eventually, system just fills that space again almost immediately. So you will find change in the numbers but the memory pressure stays pretty much same. In fact, sometimes performance gets worse because the useful cache was flushed. And that's exactly the reason you don't get a free RAM flush button that you can push and flush everything immediately. Now this part confuses a lot of users. Restarting your Mac clears compressed memory, resets swap usage, and it stops long-running background processes. It just means memory pressure built up over a long session and this restart gave the system breathing room again. So yes, it often feels faster after a restart. Let me give you a simple rule. High RAM usage plus green pressure do nothing. Yellow pressure during heavy work, that is normal and red pressure plus slow response. That's where you need to investigate. And investigate does not mean you start deleting apps. It simply means watching for unusually heavy processes, noticing pattern over time, understanding signal that matters far more than reacting to the numbers. macOS does not slow down because RAM is full. It slows down when system can no longer manage memory comfortably. That's why memory pressure exists, to tell you when performance is actually under stress. Once you stop focusing on memory percentage and start reading pressure correctly, a lot of Mac performance anxiety disappears right away. The bottom line, your Mac is not broken. It is just doing more work than you think. And I'm sure now you know how to tell when that work matters. Now, if you want to find out why your Mac is busy, what is running on it, then here's the video for you. And before you click on it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.